What is going on guys and welcome back to Hague TV. Today we are taking a quick first look at some of the things iRacing has just released today in the build. We got the Mazda MX-5, the Audi R8 LMS, the Mercedes AMG GT3, and the Formula Renault 2.0. Let's uh, take a look at the Mazda MX-5 first and we will be taking a spin around Lime Rock in the morning. Which time of day is another new thing, so all the cars are going to be at different times of day, so you can kind of see how things look. Alright, and also, this is going to be my first time in all four of these cars, so if I suck, you know why. Also, with a lot of this DX11, holy crap. A lot of this DX11 things, I want to have to kind of update and find the best graphical... Uh, pretty much find the best settings for me to use while recording. So, what you're seeing now might not what be some of my videos look like. I'm actually seeing a little bit of choppiness right now, so I apologize about that. Yeah, Lime Rock looks a lot different in the morning. I cannot believe what the time of day is making some of these tracks look like. So far, this Mazda has a completely different feel than the last one. The brakes seem to be a lot stiffer on the baseline. Yeah, sorry, not used to the stick shift quite yet. I'll be, I'm getting there. This MX-5 just has a different feel. It's a really lively car. I'm really surprised. The old one, I think, was one of the first iRacing cars, so this one just has so much more technology put into it. And you can really feel it. It's actually a really fun car so far to drive. And Lime, Lime Rock's actually one of my favorite tracks to begin with. I don't do... I don't think I've actually done... Have I done a video here? I don't know. But, just so much fun. You can just you can just throw this car around. Minute, two, point, one, nine, six. Okay, so the second car we're going to be looking at is the uh, Formula Renault. And, uh, just sitting here. This thing has a pretty nice sound to it, and we are at Circuit de Spa in afternoon, so probably what normally... I think this is pretty much what the standard iRacing look is, is the afternoon.
But I gotta say, I was actually pretty impressed with that little Mazda. It was actually quite a bit of fun to take on Lime Rock. I was horrible at it, and once again, I am not great at a lot of these cars, so... I already gotta say this, uh, Renault is way better handling right off the bat. I know I'm just using the baseline setup, but it is already, uh, a lot more planted than the Star Mazda is right off the bat. I could really this, see this being a really popular series for years to come. Because I'll be honest, I was one of the few people who, who, no matter what update it was, I never really liked the Star Mazda. Now we're going wide. Oh well. This thing almost seems like it's in between the uh, Skip Barber and the Star Mazda as far as speed. Like, I was hitting, like, I think 140 into that. So... I think it's gonna be one of those in-between vehicles. But I gotta say, I'm also liking this thing as well.
All right, for our next car, we are in the Mercedes AMG at Watkins Glen in the late afternoon. And I can already tell you can just see a little bit more of an orangish glow around everything. So let's take this thing out on track. Oh, I like that sound. One thing I've noticed driving around in other cars and other tracks is they've added more track detail. Like more lines and just different things around the track that they didn't even talk about. Everything with DX11 looks so much nicer. So far, my first impressions are the same as kind of what I've heard from other people is the car almost feels a little bit too easy to drive and actually that was one of my complaints with the C7 prototype when we first got it was it almost felt too easy, you weren't really feeling much. Now I wonder if I go through the settings like I did last time and find a steering assist because if that is on then uh, that probably why it's not a dead feeling like there's force feedback but it's not as lively as, let's say, the McLaren or the Roof. And that's part of the reason why I like driving the McLaren, is it has a big, heavy car feel. And this almost feels like there's just a bunch of power steering. It sounds amazing. It looks good. Okay, now there I did drive it in deep, and I did feel the car snap loose a little bit, but... Overall, this thing just has a very... Almost too easy of a feel to drive. Like, it shouldn't be this easy to drive around here. You should be having to fight with the car a little bit more. And everyone has their preconceived notion of what they want a car to feel. Okay, apparently that's not a second gear corner. A big update that they did all around with all the sounds is you can actually hear the transmission one and I just love that. I honestly think this is one of the best updates iRacing has ever had since I started about two years ago.
All right, last but not least, we are in the Audi R8 at Daytona at night. And, oh, look at that flashing light. I don't know if you can see on the green cone, but yeah. Prepare for that to be a giant annoyance. Oh my god, the sound. The sound that is coming out of this exhaust. Oh yeah. I think I might have just found my new favorite GT3 car. So far, same sort of complaints as I have as a Mercedes. Very dead feeling, I guess is the best way to describe it. Just very... Force feedback's there, but it's not what you're expecting. Like right there, I feel the car getting upset through one, but just, I almost wish it had a little heavier feel. Like, I got my force feedback cranked up at 20 on my D27, and I'm still wishing for about one, one and a half times more if I could. Although I could have a very unrealistic view on what I think these cards could feel like, but it just, as a personal preference thing, I just wish these things probably had a little heavier feel. I mean, when you jump on the brakes, you can uh, you can feel it some, but that's about it. Yeah, first on brakes is really when you feel the most out of this car. As I just about spin it, as I'm talking about force feedback.
Well, I gotta say, I really am impressed with this new update. The DX11 seems to be running smoothly. Everything looks great. I am just so happy. I really think I think took a really big step today with this update. All four cars are amazing. The time of day looks amazing. DX11 is making things run smoother. Now, the stuttering you saw through the video, I apologize. I think it's Marilla's action. I really thought DX11 would fix that, but I'm beginning to think it's more of a program problem than an iRacing problem, so I will be looking into probably DXORI uh, or something else in the next couple of days to try to fix the stuttering problem. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help this channel out when you do so. And until next time, see you again soon.